The processing companies are required to register every other product with the Food and Drugs Authority and the Ghana Standards Authority before it hits the market. This, the companies say, discourages them from pushing their products onto the local market and accounts for the high importation of food juice into the country. Only $40 million worth of juice, representing 28% of total domestic demand, is produced in the country, while about $150 million worth of food juice is imported into Ghana each year. Speaking to City News, the processors say the requirements hinder the sale of their products in Ghana. The process of registering your product before you put it on the market. And uh, I think it's, it's quite burdensome. For, for a company um, to go through that process because it slows down your innovations. You can't just go to the market directly, but you really have to reflect on what, if you have a large variety of products, which products that you would like to put on the market. So um, I think it, it slows down a bit the whole process of innovating and uh, really putting a product on the market. Yes, um, the, there's a bit of a challenge, but it locally, I think that's how our laws stipulate and until those laws are changed, who we'll continue to go through that stress where you have to register almost every product. Even if it's in a bottle, you register it differently. If it, you have to sell them in a gallon or something, you have to equally register it. the same product. And sometimes it sounds a bit weird, but that's, that's, that's the system that we have till we take advantage of changing circumstances to change our situation. I think it will remain like that. Cumbersome registration procedure is not the only challenge affecting fruit processing companies. They also complain about the non-availability of packaging products that will enable them compete on the world market. There are several challenges. One of it is the packaging material as such to get the right quality of the packaging material. Where do we get it? How do we get it? How does it come to our factory? With the kind of packaging that's required in Europe, it's not something we easily get on the local market. So most of our packaging materials are actually imported and then they must meet certain specifications. Now everybody's becoming environmentally conscious and there's regulations to regulate as to what you can even put foods in. And that becomes a challenge. But gradually we are making some in rows and we are hoping that with a few years ahead of us things will get better. Other challenges the companies are faced with include the high cost of power, depletion of working capital because of the constant depreciation of the city and insufficient raw material because most of the farms have wasted away. Government last year announced that it has put together a stimulus package for the food juice companies that are near collapse. Processors believe that if the requirements are reviewed they will be able to sell more on the Ghanaian market. For City News, I am Nana Oyankra.